Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I welcome you back in this space where I now feel very very happy and comfy because honestly I have to tell you a few things. So I think this applies to probably every aspect of one's life and that is about clutter and just like organizing and clearing out and having things like really nicely visible to you. Now, at the beginning of fall, autumn, same thing, potato, potato, we actually didn't really have that much of a colder weather in Milan or in general, like Europe was a little bit like strange. And then like November hit and you know, like the colder weather started creeping up on us. And I was really excited because I've got all of these like beautiful knits, boots, coats and things waiting, like lined up to be worn. But I had a bit of like styling fatigue. I think I've spoken about this because I just just like knew I had all these beautiful things but they were not like nicely organized in my wardrobe I couldn't really like see them I was not really reaching for them as I was like coming up with outfits and I know that's not like the biggest problem but like whatever you have it doesn't matter how big your wardrobe is if you feel like you're not really utilizing everything you got because you cannot see it or it's not like nicely presented or obvious it's just such a pity and it's wasteful because at the end of the day you want to get dressed like as efficiently in the mornings and you want to see all of these beautiful clothes that you have but organization is the key and honestly i really really believe that it doesn't apply just to the wardrobe like i said it applies to studying as well like if you have lots of exams to prepare but you don't have the overview of what you have to learn you don't know how many lectures are missing for you to learn or how many i don't know like topics you are yet to study i feel like everything is so overwhelming and you end up not knowing where to start from so it's like with everything in life organization is a key this video is going to be you and me hanging out a little bit is that okay i hope that's okay because you clicked to watch this video so you better be wanting to hang out with me now for the next at least half an hour but i hope more than that because this is really nice i am planning on bringing you with me around milan a little bit like we're gonna do some stuff at home we're gonna chat a lot as usually and i like i said i've organized my wardrobe i feel so good with it it's just oh, it feels great and i'm also like more active in me immediately on my blog and on my tiktok because i'm posting more outfits and more things so yeah autumn all of a sudden is even more exciting than it was before and that's really nice because i actually have like a few trips planned while you're watching this i'm probably with my team and we are having like a little team bonding a few days which i think is quite nice and then after that i will be heading a lot different places like paris london etc etc still kind of trying to plan out i want to hang out a lot with my friends as well kind of in the last quarter of the year because I don't know, it's just like such a cozy time of the year. Talking about cozy, you guys, I, I actually am almost embarrassed. I think I won this in probably last three or four videos that you have seen. Someone's even DM'd me to say like, hey, I just bought the same cashmere set that you've been wearing because I really love this cashmere set. This cashmere set, yes, I say set because I have like matching pants. It's honestly one of the most beautiful things that I have and so cozy for these days. It is from Lily Silk and I got it, I believe, two or three months ago. I have, I've spoken about this lily silk set before like two months ago and i'm coming back with few just like few more pieces that i got from lily silk that i wanted to share with you so without further ado i'll share with you pieces that i'm actually very excited to bring with me to mountains and i know like maybe mountains are not something that like you personally watching this are like relating to or it's not like maybe a place where you want to wear like cozy things like this but it is winter and i need like knitwear i love cashmere i love this is the time when i'm like all about good quality pieces and pieces that i really want to wear over and over and over again and like the first piece that i'm gonna share with you i'm gonna bring close because you guys need to see the detailing of this cable and it's her neck it's gorgeous gorgeous slightly on a thicker side but not too thick cashmere knit now look at this it is sort of like a gray white and top colored cable knit like because it's a mix of three different colors not like too much of a turtle neck so it's not like too chunky around the neck but it's quite nice and flattering and i love the color and i love the feel of this knit this is something that i would love to wear like under like a big long full length like my magda butron gray coat or with my kelly 25 in gray in like a pair of jeans and loafers and done like a nice sort of like slightly oversized but like perfect 
fitted turtleneck. I got size medium because I like these things to be like quite cozy and chunky and nice and not too overly fitted, which this one is anyway not, but just for the size reference so you know as well what to get if you're ordering. Now, what I really love about this is that it's, first of all, it's 100% cashmere, which is something that I personally really like and enjoy. And I think like the pricing for the 100% cashmere is great. And I also really like little details, like the ribbed hem kind of sleeves and the actual collar or the, the neck. It's like a relaxed fit. And I do believe I did, like I say, get size medium, but I think like it's one size fit all, which is great. So like no questions about what to order. All the products that I will show you, there's not that much, but I think they're like top of the top products. I will link them all in the description box below. And I even have a special code for you guys. Now Tamara 15 will get you 15% site-wide on products and Tamara 20 will get you 20% if you spend more than 500. Now I will put everything in the description box below as well with all the details, like so that you can make the most out of different promotions that we have at the moment. Next item that I'm going to show you is something that I think you will 100% understand why I love and it's another knit. It's a beautiful white knit with this kind of like a polo neck and I'm really really so much into these kind of like knits with polo neck at the moment. I mean also like last year a little bit. What I love about this item, this is also 100% cashmere so like we are not at all compromising on quality and on beautiful material but it's like so elegant but also comfortable and then cool at the same time because like you know it can be quite elegant but it can be quite cool and slouchy in a certain way i love like the sophisticated knits like this and this one in particular i just think i don't know like guys what can i tell you look at this you guys know i love my polo knits i have like a gray and a black one as well i believe and this is just something that is so easy to style and wear plus i love this color so who could blame me look how beautiful there's also slight fluff to it for extra coziness which i think is really sweet i also got a pair of trousers because i actually really like this sort of like prince of wales print but on like a smaller scale so from afar it doesn't look like too obvious but if you come closer you can really see the beauty of this print now this is like a classic pair of trousers with white hem it's really beautiful 100% wool like i said if you come closer you can see really the material it's a classic style and it's suitable for both like business or casual i could even travel in this because it also has like a little bit of a stretch band around where you close the trousers and i got size i'm not sure what size i got but i will leave all the information in the description box below it has pockets for the like ultimate kind of like casual vibe but i think it would go also really well with this and maybe even with this i wouldn't necessarily style it all together because i like to mix and match my brands and i also like to kind of have a variety of different things but what's really nice is that when you buy classic pieces you don't end up having a styling fatigue like i had because they actually end up all going with each other because they are staples and classics that kind of can be styled so many different ways that's the actual goal i think also of capsule wardrobes i believe now lily silk is known for you using the best quality silk. That's, I guess, what the name also indicates. This is 22 millimeter Shamu silk. I think that's what you call it. And it's a classic silk shirt. Now I love silk shirts, especially in summer, I have to say, when like I wear them kind of open over bikinis, etc., etc. But I think around the festive season, especially with this like darker olive green color or like maybe white, black or red, and they do have plenty of colors which you can check out on the website there's just something so opulent and beautiful about this i don't know what you guys think but silk again is one of the finest most luxurious materials and this is such a classic fit beautiful shirt look at the cuffs and at the sleeves and the color it's really like a classic beautiful piece that i cannot wait to style and to try i would love to actually wear this with a maxi skirt or a pair of jeans or trousers or even a skirt and pair of boots like you can just wear that you can even wear it open over like a crop top to give it like a more easy vibe the last piece that i got from lily silk is a very very classic piece like as you can see everything that i got is like you can wear a million times because it's like so easy and classic and i mean i guess i i'm saying like you know wear a million times as i'm trying to kind of console myself and like not like embarrass myself because i've worn this literally a million times in the videos lately i actually really needed something that is not so thick but it's a turtle neck and this is a black turtleneck that i think will be ideal for under blazers now this is 
100% wool with 100% silk as an inner layer. I really like this because, you know, sometimes I want to wear a knit and then a blazer, but then most of the knits, especially turtleneck ones that I have, are a little bit too thick to be worn with a blazer. So then I end up looking chunky. There's a bit of discomfort in the sleeve area and I need something really elegant like this. So like this can go really nice like under like a Saint Laurent big blazer or I'm looking at my wardrobe right now like a Magda Boutram suit and it's just like that whole elegant feeling. It can also go really well if you have the skims new bra that is like taken internet by the storm what you guys think about that by the way i would love to hear also like there's something so sexy i think about turtlenecks especially when they're like slim when they're like chunky they keep us warm i love them like i have so many chunky turtlenecks but they're more like for warmth and this is more like for styling and i think like everybody needs to have a classic piece like this in their wardrobe because these are very easy for kind of um styling and this has even like a tiny little lily silk logo here at the bottom which i think is very very cute so that is it don't forget if you go shopping on lily silk you can get discount there are like several different promotions going on at the moment so i'll put all the codes in the description box below for you guys to make the most out of it now have lots of things planned i'm gonna like tidy this a little bit and update you in a sec good morning guys it is a new day indeed i'm all dressed i don't know you can't really see my whole outfit i'll position the camera better so you can see it and we are actually heading out to ministry of nails where i will be getting my pedicure you know like after holidays is always i feel like i need pedicure sooner than if i'm not spending a lot of time barefoot let's show you the outfit i'm wearing these gray manuri trousers the lily silk black turtleneck that i've shown you yesterday the crop blazer from acne studios i'll be wearing my birkin touch oh and of course touch of color let's not forget the adidas green shoes i love these shoes look at the close-up of the shoe how cute and it's my black birkin touch with gold hardware in here i have inside nothing but my wallet my phone is coming right through and also i'm gonna put my ipad in because actually when i'm having my pedicure done at least i can use my hands so i want to just like i don't know like do some work and some stuff on my ipad let's go Guys, I'm back here and I haven't actually even vlogged that much yesterday. I finished my pedicure and I went home and then like I had millions of like, you see, I do exaggerate a lot, like meetings and things to finish off, but I'm getting ready because in 12 minutes I have a dentist appointment and I don't want to be late because I have lateness anxiety, as you guys know. Ah, <sighs> what I'm gonna wear? Where is it? Where is it? I have no idea where I put it now. I want to wear my reformation knit because I want to be very cozy. I have a very long dentist appointment and I need to be cozy. I, I plan on watching like netflix and just relaxing this knit is probably my favorite knit of last year and will be favorite knit of this year too let's put it on quickly i will link it below because i know you guys love it so much and actually last year this was the piece that i always got so many questions for so now before the knit season starts i wanted to show it to you i actually got a few pieces from cause as well that i got an order and i still haven't had chance to unbox it's somewhere here but look how cute is this knit actually i would go in these cashmere pants as well if i were ah i have an idea hold on because obviously i don't need to dress up for a dentist appointment right but i want to be cozy and comfy how about these uggs short uggs i have cashmere socks and then this cashmere bottom but i know that cause has this gorgeous cashmere set i'll insert the picture here it's on its way to me i've ordered it as well and i'll link it below as well for you guys to see also because i think that could be also very nice because it's quite put together i mean is this a bit like too much with the uggs hmm, should i wear sneakers i wish these pants were a little bit longer let's see maybe sneakers or i really want something cozy and cute i do have another pair of uggs but then it might rain okay i'll do my new balance these ones though i've been wearing non-stop my green adidas shoes but now i look too sporty no 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 no, no. i'll go with the uggs it's like hi tamara why are you running late oh so sorry doctor i really couldn't make up my mind on what i want to wear for this dentist appointment like that doesn't sound very okay right i tuck this in a bit so it looks cuter and the bag what do i even need to bring with me actually i would like to wear my leve squeeze i think it would be quite cute or should i go with what do i really need to bring with me maybe phone and earphones and even lip balm my dentist even has like lip balm so before you when you sit in they like apply lip balm all over so your lips don't crack so yeah this is not gonna be very fun but let's go
I don't feel anything in this part of my face, which is so strange because now I speak really weird, you guys. Look at this. And also, on top of that, I realized that now that I cannot remove this part of my face. So weird. Actually, my face is almost symmetrical. Look, almost. So weird. But yeah, done. You can't see anything because it's done on top of my face oh guys i'm on one thing about it look how weird i speak because i am coming home from my <laughs> i can't even speak i'm coming home from dentist now this is gonna have to wait this is really weird guys i don't look like myself and i'm so embarrassed so i'm gonna talk like this first of all filippo said i look like my face is not my face because i have so much anesthesia now i want to say i have so much local anesthetic here and here but basically top of my face i don't feel anything from the nose down here yeah and on top of that i ran into so many of you while coming home because i decided it'd be good to walk that was a mistake because now people think i i'm weird and i look weird because look how i talk and i couldn't even smile so basically i look like a weird person that doesn't move up her lip because it's completely numb i ran into like so many such cute 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 subscribers and now they might think that i'm weird <laughs> i cannot even smile look i was like <laughs> this is so weird also my mouth is almost symmetric now it, which means that normally i'm in spasm my face is like in spasm <laughs> interesting anyway now it's so freezing cold outside and i didn't bring a coat that was like a huge mistake huge mistake but i was so cozy in what i'm wearing that it's gold so what i'm gonna do right now ladies and gentlemen is a very good question i wanted to show you how i've like reorganized some of the stuff a lot of different things so i need to like i don't know if i should wait maybe for the numbing to go down because that will go down in like two hours even if he used the uh, basal constrictor in anesthetic i don't know anyway rest assured we'll be vlogging lots more today okay guys i think you're gonna have to watch me like this with half numb face because honestly i want to talk to you and we're family so you know when you have like that like really close friend and they have like i don't know like a tooth surgery i've had like several actually in the past i had one on the sixth bottom here and one here and i was like super swollen and obviously you don't really go out you know what i mean like you go out but you don't go out like for social purposes in a way so only like your really close people can come and see you in that state and that's kind of you guys right now which makes internet like really a strange place if you think about that or me strange person because i feel that comfortable with you guys right now when i'm speaking like this but i remember that i actually promised you a while ago that i'm gonna show you my favorite candle especially because now is that time of the year when i think like candles are so essential at least for me so i'll start right away because i have few candles around me right now so i think the candle number one that you all know that is like my favorite and i have one in every single room is the soho house one that smells like fig hold on i'll move around so i'll show you like the other candles is all in different like corners and different rooms but i just wanted to show this one as first one because i think i burned this candle the most and it's in this beautiful kind of like marbly case with the lid and this is what it looks like inside can you see it says like a green fig i think is the smell yeah fig verde which means green fig and it just smells so good i love it very much i have one in my wardrobe as well one in the living room as well second candle that i love very much and i have it in this huge size i actually really love Cirque du Dawn candles Ugh, this one is like i think the biggest one they make it is quite pricey but this candle has been with us with our family since our paris apartment and the smell is called i think abdel kader yep abdel kader it smells like i'll tell you exactly what it sounds like it smells like pine trees so like when i was a kid we used to spend summer holidays in croatia and if you go walking by the sea in the hills they're like forests of pine trees and that's what it reminds me of i love it love it love it love it probably my number one favorite candle from the teak i have a few but this one deserves a very special place it's almost burned i think i will need to replace this one it's amber love it i wish actually it was a white candle but it's not white but i mean okay there are worse colors than this it's like sort of like a reddy iridescence chrome green color then ladies and gentlemen i don't know why i have so many of these big candles close to me this scent is really incredible i don't think anything is like this is the fornacetti amber one and i love fornacetti candles in general i love everything from fornacetti this one's really big one i'll try and find this so i link all of these candles in the description box below in case you want to get them but i'm not sure if i'll be able to find it I'll, I'll try my best anyway i love this candle and i have it also in smaller versions in my office in several 
several different places. Also in Filippo's bathroom, he has Fornacetti candles, but they are not the same scent. And this Ember one is my favorite. Let's move on. One that you guys, I think you guys were with me when I unboxed it is the Feu de Bois. It's the fireplace. It literally smells like, I don't know, for me, like autumnal, very autumnal because it smells like burning off leaves or papers outside. I Or like a fireplace, I guess as well. But like really, if you open a fireplace and you really go into it, otherwise it just smells like fire. But normally I don't really like when something is on fire. Like it depends what's on fire. Like I don't think anybody likes when like plastic is on fire, right? But like wood, a little bit of paper. I cannot say paper <laughs> because it actually requires like you to feel your upper lip. Anyway, I also like the blue fig from Guerlain, this candle over here. Oh, I love, I, I would love this fragrance actually. Clearly I really, really love fig scent. Anyway, there's a brand of uh, candles that I really love so much. It's this Bully, where is it? Yeah, it's a French. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> I can't quite describe it, but it's like a very strange scent. It also smells like something is burning, very similar to Fou de Bois. When it comes to actually the peak, for example, as it is, my favorites are Amber. And also what I really love in autumn is Bay. It is like a berry, like a forest berries scent. I really, really, really love that one. I think it's very special, very particular. And I also love very much Diptyque Christmas scents as well as a Citrodon Christmas scents. Now over here, let me come across on this side. I have two Diptyque candles, but they're so intense that they're actually like the whole room smells like them. Okay, I think you can see it now. So we have this like candle dome from Diptyque as well. And this is one of my favorite as well. Oh, so it actually reminds me of our first apartment in Paris, the one at Palais Royale, because I used to have this candle in my office and it just was there and it smells incredible. It's the Vani. Love it. And then I always wanted to buy this one, which is called Pomander. And it's a little bit kind of spicy, but I prefer Vani. It's like along the similar notes, but I would recommend uh, Vani. And also this dome is from Diptyque as well. And they look so beautiful when they're burning. I love them. Let's not forget that this is the newest uh, Hornacetti candle that I got. I haven't still burned it, as you can see, but it's so beautiful and I really love it. It smells ambery. It smells very similar to the other one that I told you is my favorite. Over here, we also have the huge Loewe honeysuckle candle. And I really like this one, but I like it how it smells when you don't burn it. Like if you just pass it, it makes the whole space kind of quite beautiful. Love it. But my favorite one when burned is actually this one from Loewe. It's licorice. It's black. And look how I burned it. What happened here? I have no idea. I need to fix this. This one is in our bedroom and it's like a black stone candle. Look at it. It looks completely black. Actually, you can take this out. So there's the candle and this is just the pot. It smells very spicy, like cinnamony, vanilla -y, And it's a black stone Ginori candle. I really love it. I think I'll find this one to link it below. But this scent is so beautiful. I really love it and so comforting. It smells like Prashak Zafetsiwa, which is like some kind of baking sugary powder that I remember so well from my childhood. And I actually really love this Ginori pot. I think Ginori is so chic. So this is the Bay candle from Diftik that I love very much and yeah i also have replica by the fireplace by the fireplace maybe not wait what is it it's a beach vibes a bit odd but i like uh by the fireplace the most here we have some of the christmasy sears on candles as well i have some spares of amber from the teak i love eden rock this is dior but i also love amber nui and also mer and tonka which is one of my favorite fragrances as well i mean in all honesty i'm not sure if i missed a candle or two but those are definitely my favorite favorite candles especially at this cozy time i had a lot of ones that i also had but they weren't really exactly what i wanted you know what i mean when you burn a candle there's something that i really love for home as well and i know that they also have a same matching candle because i had it in paris and it's this one from le labo wait is it gonna focus it's fig 15 clearly i really love the fig scent if i spray it now around it reminds me of of our Paris apartment and it's so good love it I know they have a candle too and it's so beautiful but they don't make like a human perfume just space scent so it says home fragrance that's all it says and it's fig 15 if I can find it I'll link it below I also have Santal Le Labo candle which is also the fragrance that I like to use so that is a little bit like clashing because then like I smell like it and it smells around like it I'm not sure if I really love that but it's good you know I would recommend it for sure also 
So guys, my toxic trait is that I want to bite my lips so much now that it's numb. And then when it's not numb anymore, it would for sure hurt. And that's not a good advice to do, but it's just like so tempting to bite it because I don't feel it. Why am I like that? Can someone please explain? Anyway, today's the first autumnal day. I think in Milan it's raining and it's really cold. So don't you think? Filippo. I think that the rain is always... It's actually quite charming, I think, right? It like washes away a little bit of everything and it's really cozy. You haven't been in my vlogs in a little bit. Elipo says I look really weird when I'm speaking. But what I want to say, today you know what I would love to do? With no. you? I would love to go back home yep. and watch some Disney cartoons. Disney? Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Because like, you know, how would you say is my mood normally? Like my happiness out of 10? It depends. It can be when you are happy is 10. No, I mean in general. Would you say I'm more like a happy or a sad person? And what would you say is generally my mood? How would you rate me in general? Seven and a half. What? Yeah. I would rate myself 9.8. I'm no. always happy. Mm, no, so you wake up always very happy. And you always go to bed very, very happy. Yeah. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But during yeah. the day, it depends. Look, happiness is, you know what they call the, they call it the ice cream happiness. Happiness is one minute. You are a chill person, but you can get, because you work so much and you would deal with so much. So the mood change all the time. Let's put it that way. It's very easy to change it. But you, you wake up happy mm -hmm. and then things can sure. happen but True. your mood at the base is 10. I think like I wake up so happy and then throughout the day, like my glass gets a little bit emptier and emptier. And then sometimes I think that in the evenings I can get a little bit sad, like melancholic, not sad, but it's not like depending also on like what happened. It's just like a general, I'm a, I'm a Pisces. I'm a real like melancholic person, you know? Mm -hmm. However, where I'm going with this is I was gonna say that right now I'm feeling a little bit melancholic. Which is okay, you had a tough morning, so it's okay. Yeah. But that's why, you know, we're here. I feel a little sorry. bit sorry for myself now. I thought like Animal came to drop me off something. And I was saying like, I never feel sorry for myself, but I feel a little bit sorry for myself right it's okay. now. Because I'm like all numb and I have to take like painkillers and things. You know, that's the point of uh, having a relationship. One of the points. When one is feeling a little bit down, the other one is up. The problem is when they're both down, you know? <laughs> I think like, you know what I'm very good at, just to kind of praise myself a little bit more, is if you're down or scared, I will even pretend. It's always like that. You when, know what I mean? You know, that's the sign of true love. When uh, the other person is down, it doesn't matter how you feel, you get the power from somewhere this to, makes make, me so emotional to make now. the other one feel, uh, feel well. No, but it's normal. It's like if you fly, right? And you're scared or you are not a comfortable uh, flyer and the person next to you is scared if you love her yeah you don't you're not scared you pretend that you, yeah. like uh, what what it reminds me of and that's why i feel so emotional is that like uh, my sister she's more like a panicker right between us two and she's more like the one that is like scared or like upset about things or like she panics even if i'm a little sister my whole life i always had to be the tough one you know and like always had to pretend even when i was scared or sad i always had to pretend that i was fine like i remember you know in like very stressful situations like in 1999 right like when there was a moment we were home alone and I think like I told my sister don't worry it's all fine like I'm ready you know like it's fine I'm ready I'm ready you know I was like always consoling my sister but I feel like also with you you so that's also what makes me feel so emotional like whenever you have like an uncertain moment in your life I always am like don't worry I got your back but you always got my back too always maybe I think it's so about you yeah, I'm so grateful could, uh, for that. Turn, uh, the back like if I'm up. even if I'm a little bit like worried or sad about like obviously like I'm not talking about now like superficial stuff. I'm talking now more about like I told you guys like my dad has some like really bad health scares this year. It was really like and you know I, I usually try to deal with anxiety inside. I don't share it with anybody else. I don't really try to worry. So like I don't tell you like you know hey this is constantly on my mind until it's almost over. Yeah. But I tell you when I'm about to like break and Filippo is always like the one calming me down and it's like the most beautiful thing but where I was going with this is to say that today I'm a little bit melancholic so I would love to watch like a Disney movie 
have a tea which I can't have. Uh, that would take a lot of love, huh? but it's okay. <laughs> you don't like Disney? Yeah. But like what? We should watch... Well, you love Harry Potter. Okay, so you don't have to watch Harry Potter. We can watch something more like Encanto. No, no, no. Listen, the, the real Disney is the old one, like La Carica di Cento Uno. Si, you know, can the we watch La Carica di Cento Uno? Yeah, we can. Or, or uh, like Bella La Bestia. Little Mermaid. They're also new. Little Mermaid is as old as uh, Tale as all this time as uh, Beauty and the Beast. Crudelia, Crudelia, the you know Crudelia. Is that the witch in a... Or you know what we can Ursula. watch? We can watch the know, one uh, Malif Maleficent. The will. That's new. But that's nice, no? Yeah, I like Maleficent. Okay. I just want to watch something like where I know it's going to be a very happy ending, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't want to watch something that is like sad. You know, Filippo also likes to listen sometimes to sad music. And I was like super happy and we started listening to some Ser like Serbian sad music. And by the end of it, I was actually feeling sad for no reason. And Filippo was like, oh, this is so like beautiful. And I was like, I'm just sad now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but I, I explain you. For me, I'm very happy to listen to sad music when I choose to listen to sad music because it's not going to affect my mood, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. I just enjoy the sadness of the music because it's always deeper, you know? I never like to listen or to attend happy things. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very... I love to... It's the... Uh, we need a, a video to explain this. <laughs> I'm not happy when everybody is kind of... I like deep, I like sad, but because I'm anyway in a good space, obviously, if you're having a, you know, an intense really, moment yeah. or if you are really sad because something really sad is going on in your life, then I would avoid to listen sad music, you know? Yeah, interesting. Well, um, we're running some errands and doing some stuff and then we're gonna go home to our cozy evening. Okay, well, rainy Milano is looking so cute and charming, I think, actually. I never thought it would look as charming as i think today guys well last time when you saw me i think i was in like a quite a mood huh i think i was quite i don't know i want to say like melancholic but the truth is really like after the dentist appointment i felt like pff, the, my face was numb for so long and like i said in this video and i'm so embarrassed that i even said that like i said i was feeling a little bit sorry for myself at that given stage kind of like how people feel like when they have a cold or a flu or something like that and in all honesty like it wasn't really that bad I I think it was just i genuinely wanted to put on the camera and show you that it's not like if you think that i'm like always happy that everything is always perfect in my life that things are just to be very honest i am happy most of the time but it's because i choose to be happy most of the time it's like even when bad things are happening i actually decide to have a little conversation with myself and convince myself that i need to take the positive approach but there are some times when i succumb and i literally give in to the kind of melancholic feeling i don't do that very often or too long because I don't want to spiral into that kind of negativity feeling. But anyway, I wanted to show you a real genuine vibe. When I watch it now from this kind of like sober, not feeling so melancholic state, I have to say I look cringe to myself because I don't genuinely or generally as well like to show vulnerabilities or states like that. I don't know why. It's something to do with my childhood. I don't like to show if my mood is not the best. And that is simply what I've been doing my whole life since I've been a child even with my parents like I never wanted my parents to know that I was like upset about something or sad or that I wasn't in a good mood just because I don't want to worry other people I guess as well on top of the other things but you know I feel like I'm really trying to be like my uttermost real with you guys I'm gonna leave this in I'm gonna leave it in I want this to be raw and real and as it is oh you might be wondering where we are by the way we are actually in the mountains because we took a trip team bonding trip actually with my whole team i organized it like i've been organizing it for quite a bit of time so we took a trip we're all here in the mountains I'm gonna spend a few days together kind of working together bonding playing different games and just socializing which i think is really nice and that's the general everything that i have to say for this video i think i'm gonna leave you guys here because from tomorrow i'm gonna already start creating some other content but wanted to kind of clarify a few things i also hope obviously now my face moves again i still am a little bit sore on like top 
top of my gums in case anybody wonders. I haven't actually done anything aesthetic. My teeth are still my teeth, but I had to do a few little things. And that is basically it, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to leave you here, remind you that I love you very much and that I appreciate you very much. I'm wishing you a great day. And remember, maybe if you had a bad one, tomorrow is definitely going to feel better. And if you're feeling sad today, tomorrow, I really hope that's going to seem like really random. One thing that helps me when I'm feeling down or when something disappoints me or even when something big bad happens, I always ask myself, is this going to matter next year this time or is it going to be irrelevant? So if you had something that upsets you a little bit today, just ask yourself the same question. And I really hope that the answer is going to be no, it's going to be irrelevant and it doesn't matter and everything will be fine. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.